Today, I'm gonna to show you a few top tips that will help you put a few more fish in your net using a straightforward ground bait method feeder. I'm at one of the prettiest picture postcard commercial venues you're liable to see, Lakeview Fisheries, which is near Melton Mowbray. Lots of different lakes to choose from and plenty of fish to go at. Now it's an absolute certainty that the method feeder has caught more carp than any other tactic. It's quick, simple and easy to use and it's equally as effective in the hands of a novice as it is a seasoned pro. Now originally the method feeder was designed to be used with just ground bait and you could use the hook bait and it would hang from a ball. The carp were attracted to the ground bait and the only hook bait there to eat was add your hook in it and it was pretty much infallible. Well, as anglers, like all tactics, it's evolved since then of the use of pellets and different liquids that you put on top. But the truth is the old fashioned ground bait is still an absolute bang on method. Tip number one, this is the obvious tip. It's how to mix the perfect method mixed ground bait quickly, easily, and without any stress. So how to make the perfect stress-free method mixed ground bait. We need a ground bait that sticks in the method mold, but is light enough to come off the method really quickly. Too wet, it's not coming off. Too dry, it's not gonna stick in the mold. So, really easy this. If you stick it, do it this way, you'll never get it wrong again. Take your ground bait, tip one pint, which is easily done in a pint mixing bowl, in a pint bait box rather. Tip that in a mixing bowl and add half a pint of water. It's at this point that you can add a liquid flavour. This one comes free with the ground bait. Tip that in, just gives it a little boost. Swirl it around and then tip it, tip the whole lot into your ground bait. So it's basically, it's a one and a half part of whatever you use. At first, it'll look a little bit claggy and a bit messy, but if you let it stand for 10 minutes, it will have soaked up all the water. You then run it through a riddle and you'll get the perfect ground bait. So 10 minutes later, it's absorbed all the water and then we riddle it. Now the reason we riddle it is to get any sort of lumps out and to add a little air to it, which makes it a little bit softer. Now, something that you'll see with this ground bait as I go through the riddle with it is it doesn't have any lumps. There's, nothing, there's no waste here at all. It's not full of filler or bits of flake maize or anything. This is a really super fine ground bait designed for shallow water. It's specific for a method feeder in shallow water and it really is very soft. But proof of the pudding, like I said earlier, too wet, it's never going to melt down and it's not going to work properly. Too dry and it won't stick into the mould. So just a quick tester, just in case it's not right, but I guarantee it is. There it is. Every time, every time you do it, that is, will be the right amount. That will hit the water and as you can see, that breaks down perfectly every time. A tip for a ground bait method feeder in shallow water, it works perfectly up against islands, anywhere where you've got, say, under two foot of water. We're going to make it so that the ground bait comes out as it hits the water and the feeder falls, but it's still a few pellets in, so the fish go down. They're drawn into the cloud and down they go onto the rest of the feed where your hook bait is. Really simple to do. The hook bait goes in first, that's a must. Tiny little bit of ground bait on the top of that. Then a few pellets. Put a tiny bit more ground bait in just to make sure that it all holds together so I can show you what it does. Squeeze it together in your mould. And what you've got, you've got your hook bait here at the top, you can see. This will hit the water. Uh, obviously it's difficult here because we're going to try and show it in a bowl, but it hits the water quite hard. The, gr the ground bait comes off immediately. That then falls through the shallow water and you've got your pellets then on your bottom, which will attract the fish in. So you can see this ground bait, is, uh, it breaks down really quickly. So you can imagine that's, that's how it's coming off on the top. It's all gone 
and feed has gone down. There are a few pellets that you'll see in a minute and they're at the bottom and you can see the hook bait. So you get two bites of the cherry in shallow water and it's actually a perfect method, especially if there's F1s about. This tip is ideal for deeper water or when there's a lot of fish in your peg uh, and you don't want to change the size of your feeder, you just need to get more feed in quickly. So what you do, put some ground bait in, we put the pellet in, now we haven't changed the mix any, it's just going to be a bit of a harder squeeze, we fill a compactor and we give it a squeeze, a little bit of a harder squeeze and we push it out. You think, okay, that's fine. We know that the hook bait's inside the ball. And then what we do is, it's called double skinning. You feel the compactor again, push it in, squeeze again. Twice as much feed as we had just now. So if you've got a lot of fish in your peg and you want to hold them, so if you're catching a fisher chuck, immediately think, okay, I need to bury the hook bait inside and I'm going to double skin because I'm getting more bait to the fish without having to change the size of the feeder. You can sort of keep going. You could go for a triple skin, but it does start to get a little bit tricky at three, but you can get three. So you don't have to change the size of your feeder to get more feed in. Just think what you're doing. I'm doing a double skin because it gets more feed in. And also if it's really deep water, if you give it an extra squeeze, it will last that little bit longer, so it won't all come off before it hits the bottom. So I'm saying that that will take to fully break down around about three minutes. This ground bait has been specially designed actually for shallow water. It's double ground, so it's absolutely always going to break down around the feeder in around about three minutes. But as I've doubled, I've triple skinned that and I squeezed it quite hard it will give it that little bit longer before it goes. It's starting to go now, so I would have thought in six to 10 foot of water, double skinning, perfect, load of fish in the peg, double skin again because you're getting more feed in. Let me tell you about the ground bait I've been fishing with today. This is Adrenaline's new Megabyte Carp Method Mix. It's been specially developed for commercial venues, in as much as it breaks down really quickly. It's had a special double grind process which makes it ultra fine but not claggy to mix. It hits the water and I am told that it will break down within three minutes every time, which for a shallow commercial, absolutely perfect. I've had a look at um, most of the flavours. It comes in a yellow Scopex, a green betaine, a black Noir and a red Krill and each bag comes with its own booster. Uh, it's water soluble so I found that if this is added to the water that you're going to mix the ground bait in, it's absolutely perfect. Easy to mix, good colours, every bag is the same and when you saw me riddle it, there's absolutely no waste. Now I'm told it's in the shops now uh, and if you like your method feeder fishing, for me, get and have a look at it, it's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, it looks like it's going to rain so I'm about to pack up and get home. Thanks for watching. <laughs>